Hello, Marshall County Republicans. Here at the State Executive Committee meeting, we, it just concluded and everyone's visiting, as you can see. We have county chairs from across the state as well as the SEC members. And we just had a, a meeting and uh, it was good. There was a lot of things discussed and a lot of things happening. And uh, one of the top things that was discussed um, are the challenges. Uh, we've talked about that in our Republican meeting. And I'm going to flip the camera around. It's me. I don't usually come on camera, but uh, I usually like to show whatever else is going on. But just to talk about, I'll go. I'll do another video later. But uh, a lot of the things that we've discussed in our local meetings about how the SEC works and, uh, and growing our party, um, it's been exciting to see it coming. Uh, uh, the, what they're voting for, and I'll share that in person when we come back to our meeting on April 29. Uh, one thing they changed is sometimes people vote Democrat in the primaries, and it's Tennessee state law, it's actually state law, not just party law, that who you vote for in the primary is establishing what party you belong, belong to. And uh, so, because we don't register, since we're not closed, we don't register as Democrats or Republicans. So when you pull the ballot for a Democrat or a Republican in the primaries, that is by state law showing your party affiliation. So that is part of um, what they talked about today. So sometimes people pull a Democrat ballot and then they pull a Republican and it goes back and forth. The party clarified in their bylaws today a change that they voted on and made that if you pull a Democrat ballot in the last three of four elections, you will no longer be able to run as a Republican. What I like about that, the change that they made, is it does not take effect until 2024. So all changes that that would make, you've got time. It's not just changing it now and there's nothing you can do about it because maybe you crossed over with Operation Chaos with uh, that Rush Limbaugh push saying let's select our Democrat candidates. That won't be, if you ever want to run for, you can still do that, but if you want to run for office, you're establishing your voting record establishes your party affiliation. So from, but, so it's not taking effect until several years from now. So you've got three primaries to vote Republican and stay always Republican to establish that. Uh, so I like that, that bylaw because it passed, it makes sense, but you've got time. It's not just passing it from um, and saying, okay, this is the new law and what you've done in the past is too bad. So that was one of the things that happened at the state executive committee meeting today. We heard from um, uh, the election uh, committee, election integrity uh, committee update. They had passed 10 uh, resolutions. Several of them have made it into law to help hold our elections integrity. Several of them were put in summer committee and some failed. So that's the way that goes, but our Tennessee party is working hard on that to uh, make our elections that much more uh, strength and with secure. Uh, we also heard from the RNC and what they're doing and hopefully bring that RNC con convention right here to Tennessee uh, for 2024. So that's exciting. So lots of things going on. I'll do more video and also when we meet on April 19, we'll talk about this because it's so fresh in my mind. I've got a lot going on. So, But those are the things that stuck out to me the most. And uh, Marshall County, I appreciate you. Look forward to April 19. Our dinner deadline um, for tickets so that we can get the word to the caterer is April 19. We're having the congressional candidates come. It's going to be a great dinner. We're excited about it. And um, hope you all have a great weekend. Talk to you later.